we will discuss uh, a few more problems today. So, we discussed 9 problems in uh, so far. The 10th problem it is given that given that the molar the molar Helmholtz free energy of a gas is Given that the molar Helmholtz free energy of a gas is A m is defined as A m or is expressed as A m equals to minus A by V m minus R t logarithm of V m minus B minus V m naught plus uh, function of temperature where V m is the molar volume of the gas V m naught is the molar volume of the gas under standard conditions. R is the gas constant A and B empirical constants. And if T is an arbitrary function of temperature. And we need to find, find the equation of state for the gas. Okay, the problem says uh, given that the molar, molar Helmholtz free energy of a gas is A m equals to minus A times uh, A by V m minus R t ln uh, logarithm of V m minus B by V m naught plus F t, where A V m is the molar volume of the gas and V m naught is the molar volume of the gas under standard conditions. R is the gas constant. A and B are empirical constants and F t is an arbitrary function of temperature. We need to find the equation of state for the gas. Okay. Now, we know how to solve this one. So, basically we need to calculate P is P has to be related to the volume in order to guess in order to obtain or in order to get the equation of state of the gas. Okay. So, how do we solve this? We have we A m is minus A by V m minus R t V m minus B by V m naught plus function of temperature. We know d a is minus p d v minus s d t. So, del a by del v at constant temperature gives us p 
p. So, we can write del a m by del v m at constant temperature gives us pressure. So, this is our equation 1 suppose. So, we need to differentiate a m with respect to v m at constant temperature. If we do it, we get we get A by V m to the 2 minus R t V m minus B and this is our equation 2. So, we write P is minus A by V m to the 2 minus plus R t by V m minus B or we get P plus A by V m to the 2 times V m minus B is T. So, this is the gas equation of state, very simple problem. Next, we will discuss another problem, problem number 11. At one atmospheric pressure, one mole of steam is condensed at 100 degrees Celsius, the water that we get after condensation is cooled to 0 degrees Celsius and then frozen to ice. What is the value of total entropy change delta delta S for this process? So, the problem is problem states at one atmospheric pressure one mole of steam is condensed at 100 degree Celsius, the water is cooled to 0 degree Celsius and then frozen to ice. What is the value of total entropy change for this process? Given the heat of vaporization and fusion are are 540 calorie gram and 80 calorie a 540 calorie per gram and 80 calorie per gram respectively. And the average heat capacity of liquid water is 1 calorie per gram per degree. Okay. The problem says at one atmospheric pressure, one mole of steam is condensed at 100 degree Celsius, the water is cooled to 0 degree Celsius and then frozen to ice. What is the value of total entropy change for this process? Given the heat of vaporization and fusion are 540 calorie per gram and 80 calorie per gram respectively and the average heat capacity of liquid water is 1 calorie per gram per degree. Now, how to solve? So, basic, basically total entropy change for this process is 
entropy change. So, we have first steam which is condensed to water. So, delta is vapor to liquid plus delta is liquid at temperature at 0 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade. So, liquid to liquid rather and then delta S is equal to solid. So, we need to calculate three different entropy change for three different processes separately and then if we add them up we get total entropy change for the whole process. Okay. So, we have 1 mole of water. So, 1 mole of water means everything is, is expressed here in terms of per gram. So, 1 mole of water is plus to 18 gram. Okay. So, delta is vapor to liquid for this condensation process, so vapor to liquid. So, heat is released by the system. So, we have the minus sign here. So, 18 times 540 by temperature is 373 okay. and it gives us minus 26.06 .06 calorie per Kelvin. And delta S liquid to liquid, okay. for this we use the relation MCPLN T2 by T1 is 18 times 1 times 1 LN 273 by 373 and it gives us minus 5.62 calorie per Kelvin and delta A is liquid to solid, again heat is released here. So, we have the minus sign here and we get minus 18 times 80 divided by 273 and it gives us minus 5.27 calorie per Kelvin. So, delta is total is minus 26.06 .06 minus 5.62 minus 5.27 calorie per Kelvin and gives us minus 36.95 calorie per Kelvin. This is uh, we need to carry out, uh, we need to understand the problem here and uh, we get total entropy change negative. So, entropy decreases which is expected because we started with steam and we find up and our final state is ice. Okay, so, from vapor we are going to the solid state. So, entropy change has to be negative here. Okay. Next problem we discuss a system undergoes a certain change in state by path 1 and the corresponding heat absorbed and work done by the system are ten calorie and zero calorie respectively. 
for the same change in state by another path, path 2, the above respective quantity is R 15 calorie and 0 0.5 times W max, where W max represents the work if the specified change is reversibly carried out. What is the value of W max? So, this problem states a system undergoes a certain change in state by path 1 and the corresponding heat absorbed and the work done by the system are 10 calorie and 0 calorie respectively. For the same change in state by path 2, the above respective quantities are 15 calorie and 0 0.5 W max, where W max depends on the work if the specified change is reversibly carried out. What is the value of W max? So, basically here we are starting from the same initial state and we are going to the same final state where two different paths, one is path 1 and another is path 2 and we get different amount of heat absorbed and work done for two different path because work and heat, heat both are path functions. Whereas, internal energy change is a state function. So, the internal energy change for the both the uh, processes are the same. Okay. So, what I said is, so we have the same initial state and we have the same final state. Uh, this is our path 1. So, this is our initial state and we are going to the same final state in two different paths. So, this is our path 2. Since internal energy is a state function, Since internal energy is a state function, we can write 10 plus 0 calorie equals to 15 calorie plus 0 0.5 max. So, if we solve this, we get so, here work done by the system. So, this is negative here and this is also negative here because work done by the system. So, we get 0 0.5 times W max is 5 calories or we get W max plus to 10 calorie. So, two things you need to know here, one is internal energy is a state function and you have to read the question carefully like here heat absorbed. So, heat absorbed means Q is positive here and work done by the system. So, W is negative here according to the convention we follow. And if we equate them, the inter, since internal energy, internal energy change is the same for path 1 and path 2, 
So, we can equate uh, this 10 minus 0 calorie equals to 15 calorie minus 0 0.5 times W max and we get the value of W max which is equals to 10 calorie. Next problem, problem number 13. In the vaporization of benzene, at 1 atmospheric pressure or at 1 bar pressure, delta H is 7364 calorie and delta S is 20.85 calorie. What is the normal boiling point of benzene? So, this problem says the heat of vaporization of benzene at 1 bar pressure is delta H is 7364 calorie and delta S is 28.85 calorie. What is the normal boiling point of engine? So, vaporization process is, is, an, is, in, is, is an equilibrium process. So, vaporization process is an equilibrium process. And during vaporization, there is no change in the temperature. So, delta G T P is 0. So, it says delta H is T delta S. So, T here is the transition temperature of which is nothing but the boiling point of uh, normal boiling point of benzene. Normal means the we are considering one bar pressure here. So, T transition is delta H by delta S and we get 7364 by this is 28 calorie per Kelvin. Okay. So, 20.85 Kelvin and we get the value of and the value is 353 point one nine Kelvin. So, this is the answer. Next we consider one uh, analytical problem. Two moles of an ideal monatomic gas C B is three R by two is mixed with 3 moles of an ideal diatomic gas. For its C B is 5 R by 2 at room temperature. Calculate CP mix for the mixer. A very simple problem. It says two moles of an ideal monoatomic gas, for which CV is 3R by 2 is mixed with 3 moles of an ideal diatomic gas where C B is for which C V is 5 R by 2 at room temperature. You have to calculate C B max for the mixer. So, here problem how to solve it. Okay. It is extremely easy problem. 
So, total internal energy is U1 plus U2. So, we can write del U by del T at constant volume is del U1 by del T1 del T at constant volume plus del U2 by del T at constant volume. So, one represents uh, uh, ideal monatomic gas and two represents diatomic gas here. So, N C V max is N1 C V1 plus N2 C V2. So, total number of moles N is total number of moles N is 2 plus 3 equals to 5. So, 5 times C V make is 2 times 3 R by 2 plus 3 times 5 R by 2. So, we get C V makes 21 R by 10. Okay. And so, C P mix, we need to calculate C P mix, C P mix, we have got C P mix is C P, R C P mix is R plus C P mix. So, you get R plus 21 R by 10, so you get 31 R by 10. It's extremely easy problem. We will solve another uh, interesting problem, but interesting but conceptual problem. Again this is an analytical problem. Two moles of an ideal monatomic gas undergoes a cyclic process A B C A as shown in the figure below. So, the problem says 2 moles of an ideal monotomic gas undergoes a cyclic process A B C A as shown in the figure below. And what do we do we need to do? We need to calculate calculate the ratio of temperature. at B and A. So, here you can see that at point A both pressure at point A and C both pressure and volume are given, whereas at point for point B only pressure is given volume is not given. So, we need to calculate first what is the volume at point B. So, how do we do that? Okay, so, basically what we do here, we draw in the solution, we will draw, what we will do, we, we, we
So, what we do here, we draw one perpendicular line starting from B, which starts stay, which uh, uh, meets at point D on line AC. Okay. Now, what are given here? So, N number of moles, number of moles N. n is 2 here at point A, if we say temperature is T A is P naught V naught by 2 times R, right. At point B, pressure is 3 p naught, volume at point B is not known. Now, we can write A D is nothing but B D cot, cot of 60 degree, right. So, we get AD by DC is 1 by 3, okay, because and you can write AD is this and DC and DC is BD got 30 degrees. So, if we take the ratio of these two, uh, we get 1 by 3 or we can write A D 3 A D is D C. Okay, now, what is A C? So, A C is A D plus D C and value of A C is 6 V naught minus V naught nothing but 5 V naught and A D and D C, D C is 3 A D. So, it gives 4 A D. So, A D is 5 by 4 times V naught. So, volume at point D point B or D whatever you say is V naught plus 5 by 4 V naught gives you 9 by 5 V naught. Okay. So, we get volume at point B that is nothing but V B we say is 9 by 5 V naught. So, we get we know P V is N at T. So, P at pressure B times V at pressure B is 2 times R T B. So, T B is P times P B times V B by 2 R. P B is 3 P naught, V B is 9 by 5 times V naught by 2 R. So, we get 27 P naught V naught by 10 R. So, this is the value of T B and what is the value of T A and T A we have pressure at uh, temperature at uh, point A is P naught V naught by T 2 R P naught V naught by 2 R. So, the ratio of so the ratio of temperatures at B and A T B by T A gives us 
27 by 10 times 2 so it gives 27 by 5 okay so this is the uh, tv is to ta yes 27 is to 5 so this is problem 15 and uh, we will discuss one more problem 16 problem number 16 is helium of mass 1.6 gram is expanded adiabatically three times and then compressed isothermally to the initial volume find delta s for the process so this problem says helium of mass 16 gram is expanded adiabatically three times and then compressed isothermally to the initial volume and you need to calculate uh, entropy change for this process now first for the first process this adiabatic process so q is 0 for adiabatic process q is 0 so delta s1 is 0 okay now total entropy change for the process total entropy change delta s is delta s1 plus delta s2 and delta s1 is 0 and delta s2 is n c p ln t2 by t1 and the gas is what is n n is 1.6 gram by 4 so this is 0 0.4 right it's because we are considering helium here and cp helium is uh, monoatomic so cp is 5 r by 2 or we can write 5 r by 2 here and then we can write delta s2 is 0 0.4 times 5 r by 2 ln t2 by t1 so now process is isothermal one so t2 by t1 this is not isothermal this is isobarically process compressed isobarically do not consider isothermally it is isobarically here suppose for isobaric process pressure is constant so t2 by t1 is v2 by v1 okay and this gives you 1 by 3 so delta s2 is uh, giving us like minus 2.2 calorie per kelvin okay so the problem is little bit uh, modified now uh, helium of mass 1.6 gram is expanded adiabatically three times and then compressed isobarically yeah. the process is isobaric one isobarically to the initial volume 
find the delta s for the process. So, isobaric process means pressure is constant say a here. So, T 2 by T 1 is nothing but V 2 by V 1 and volume is uh, decreased to uh, one third of initial volume. So, we get 1 by 3 here. And if we substitute all these things, we get delta S2 is this, delta S2 is minus 2.2 calorie. So, delta S is delta S2 is nothing but minus 2.2 calorie per Kelvin. Thank you.